Everybody on YouTube says that I need to start using Meshtastic. Nobody could really tell me why, but irregardless, because I am so easily persuaded and due to my crippling low self-esteem and desire to please everyone, I got this. The Spec 5 Trekker Bravo, a turnkey ready-to-use right out of the box, Meshtastic talky thingy, no license required. Now, it is true that for a lot of people, the appeal of Meshtastic is not really what it can do. The appeal for some people is that you have to put the thing together yourself. You have to buy all of the bits. You have to solder the bits together. You have to flash the software into it. And most importantly, you then have to show it off to all your friends and everyone on YouTube so that everyone can see how smart you think you are. It's like a 10-year-old showing off to their parents when they build something with their Legos. But I don't want all of that hassle. That's why I got this Pacific Mesh-tastic device because it is all put together. It is pre-flashed. It is a Mesh-tastic unit for normal people. You simply take it out of the box. You screw on the antenna. You turn it on and you use it. You might have to do some configuration in the app to get it to work the way that you like, but that is about it. The price for this one is $120 of monies, affiliate link below, and I did not get this for free or at any discount. I paid full price for this device using the monies that I collected from my supporting channel members. Those are the viewers that supported me and my channel by clicking on the join or thanks buttons below. And please, if you are right now warming up your fat Cheeto stained fingers to leave a comment proclaiming that you can just build one of these yourself for a few dollars less, then please just go away now because you should not be watching this video because obviously you do not value your time in the same way that normal people do. Anyway, the Spec 5 Trekker Bravo has everything you need to get started in the exciting and dynamic world of Meshtastic. And as I mentioned only a moment ago, it comes pre-assembled. You don't have to solder anything. You do not have to flash it. You do not even have to open it up and plug in a battery. And best of all, it does not come from China. The parts inside are all probably from China, but it is made right here in the heart of this now great again United States in the city of Texas. Anyway, at this point, because I'm really not very smart at this point, I don't really know how to use it yet, but I am going to endeavor to figure it out. And you can watch me figure it out via the miracle of YouTube as I learn. So this can be our journey together. And hopefully after a few videos, I will be the queen of Meshtastic and you will still be there at home touching yourself. The actual real reason that I got this and my goal with Meshtastic is to be able to use it to communicate with Josh, that ham radio crash course guy on YouTube. Josh lives about 30 miles away from me, which is too far for direct radio to radio contact and in a serious shit hit the fan situation, there are no repeaters between us that can stay up for more than about half of a day or so. So it is my goal to be able to use this Meshtastic device to check in on Josh to make sure he's okay during an emergency. Anyway, as I mentioned only a moment ago, this unit comes fully assembled. All you have to do is screw on the antenna, and it does have a standard SMA type connector hole, so you can connect it to a larger outside antenna. And be sure to connect it before you turn it on, because as soon as you turn it on, it's gonna start transmitting. The antenna that comes with it is tuned for the mesh-tastic frequency in the United States, and if you buy a larger antenna, you do have to make sure sure that it is made specifically for that frequency, which in these United States is 915 my gigahertz. The unit has a small screen that's kind of hard to read, but that doesn't matter because you do everything through the phone app, which is really your primary interface. The phone doesn't have to have cell service. You don't need internet service on the phone. You only need Bluetooth connectivity on the phone so that it can connect to the Bluetooth that is built in to the device. The unit has GPS built in, but you can disable it if you're paranoid. And even if you do have it enabled, when other Meshtastic users see your unit on the map, it doesn't show your actual exact location by default. 
it fuzzes it a little within a mile or two. On the left, you will find the main power on off switch. And there are two small buttons on the front. The left button will turn it on or wake it up if it's not already on. And if it's already on, when you click it one time, it will go through the various screens. But I've never even bothered to look at the screens because I use the app. Double tapping the left button will send out a ping to the mesh network. Should you ever choose to do so, that's not ever required. A triple tap will turn the GPS on or off, but that is also easier to do using the app, so you never need to do that. And if you press and hold the left button, it will shut the unit down. I, I guess you shut it down that way, and then you use this button to fully turn it off. I don't know why we have redundant power switches. What do I know? I'm not a mesh-tastic expert. And if you tap the right side button one time, it will reboot the device. It has a built-in battery that is USB-C chargeable. I'm not sure how long the battery lasts yet because I just figured out how to turn it on and started using the thing yesterday. And it has a clip on it so that you can attach it to your tactical vest and really impress the chicks. Just imagine the look on their faces when you walk up to them at the mall out of the blue and start explaining everything that this baby can do. And it also has a little kickstand so it doesn't fall over on the table. I don't think it came with a user manual. If it did, I have lost it. But the spec5.com website has a very good online manual of which I have put a link to in the more information section of the video below. As I mentioned only a moment ago, it does have a built-in GPS, and it does the ATAC for all you G.I. Joe types. I don't really know what the ATAC is yet, but I do know that it only works if you have a beard and are connecting to it using an Android phone. The ATAC does not work if you're using an iPhone to connect to the unit. You do have to download and install the MeshTastic app from your favorite app store so that you can use it. And when you first open the app, you will have to pair your phone to the device, which is very simple to do. And the app walks you through it step by step. So as long as your phone has Bluetooth enabled and as long as you are within Bluetooth range and as long as you can read the words on the screen, it should not take you longer than 10 seconds to pair this thing with your phone. In the app, there are a lot of settings and configurations that you can use to Screw it up if you don't know what those settings are for, but you do not have to touch any of those. The only thing that you might have to change is in the device settings if the device role is set to TAC. If the role is set to TAC, you'll need to change it to client, unless you're doing that ATAC thing and then you're on your own because I have no idea what that is. And you can connect it using different devices after you pair them. So, for example, I can connect to this using my iPad, my phone, and even from my Mac. You just have to make sure that you are fully disconnected or exited out of the app before you try connecting from another device because you can only be connected with one device at a time. And that's it. It automatically connects to the mesh network, which means I can now start sending and receiving messages, which by the way, is the only thing that you can do over Mesh-tastic. You can only send short messages or location data. You cannot send video, you cannot send voice, no images, no data. Basically, it's just text messages through the decentralized mesh network. So now at this point, I am ready to achieve my goal of sending messages to Josh of Ham Radio Crash Course YouTube fame. And once I figure out how to do that, I will make another video. In the meantime, leave a comment with your questions about Meshtastic, and I will do my best to answer any of those questions that actually make any sense in that next video.